Well, the Avalanche are as healthy as they've been in quite some time as they take part in history tonight because on the other side of the ice, the Seattle Kraken play their first ever playoff game in their second ever season. For Colorado, though, it's time to defend the Cup. The Avs have been through so many different scenarios on their way to the Stanley Cup championship last year. This is what we have all waited for. 82 games of the regular season. None of that matters now because it is time for the Stanley Cup playoffs. Dumped in by the Kraken. Picked up by DeMontae. Turnover in front. Save made by Georgiev. Rebound and they score. It's been a sluggish start for Colorado. Nico Rantanen wins it cleanly back for Bo Byram. He holds. Nathan McKinnon near side half wall. McKinnon third most points per game. And let's increase that. The dynamic duo connects again. McKinnon to Rantanen is a work of art. Yeah. McKinnon a drive, and it hit another post. I think that hit both posts. Yep, it did. That's the type of night that the Avalanche are having. And they score. And they have some thinking to do. Final score from Ball Arena. Seattle 3 in the Avalanche 1. Self-inflicted wounds from the Avalanche. And the Kraken take game 1. Uh, miss passes, you know, bouncing pucks. I thought it just looked sloppy from our group a little bit. You know, I liked the, you know, some of the intensity that we played with at times, but they won more than their fair share of races to pucks, and we'll make some adjustments if need be, and then we got to go and we have to be better than we were tonight. When you look at what the Avs did in game number one, they had some opportunities, but we know there are so many more things they can do. The Avalanche players laid it out. They know they have to be better, and they have the game plan to be better. Got through him. It's a two-on-one for Seattle. In front, all alone, and they score. And it's a carbon copy of the other night as Seattle strikes first. Not even three minutes into the hockey game, one nothing crack. Had too much heat on it, he kicked it away too far. Andy Gore, the first one into the zone, and it's poked away. Watch out! Here comes Tanev, and he scores! It's a shorthanded goal for Brandon Tanev. There's not enough urgency. One by McKinnon, back for Byram. Here's a blast! Score! I think it's Lekkanen in front! And the Avalanche are back in business. Five to go on the kill. McKinnon wants out of the box. McKinnon shoots! Save! Rebound! Blocked! One, no, a three on one the other way. Matty Beniers holding. Now it's Alexiak back for Beniers. Near side, save made by Georgiev. Incredible, absolutely incredible stuff. Thanks up, one back for Sam Gerard. Near side, point high in the zone. Lekin it, turning, firing, save made. Rebound is in for Tate. He scores! It's a taser from Taser. And the Avalanche had their first lead of the series. Three, two, McKinnon trying to get it out. Lays into his man. McKinnon scoops to the center. One second, sound the horn. The Colorado Avalanche scores three unanswered goals. And we're headed to Seattle with a tied series. One to one. the first home playoff game in Kraken history. There are two things here tonight. One is the event and the spectacle. The other is the hockey game in a tied series. And that throws it up in front. Save by Georgiev is a dandy. Puck still bouncing around. Rodriguez trying to get to it. Swipe back to the point. Schultz lets it go. Tipped in the score. Like and then trying to clear. Balls for Kale McCarr, two on two, shorthanded. McCarr across the red line. Shorthanded, JT Comper! Can he tuck it in? You bet he can! Call JT Comper! Looked in front, sends it right to the blue paint. Knocked away by the abs. McKinnon pokes it into space. Here he goes. McKinnon on a breakaway, all alone. He shoots and scores! The Mac attack is back, Jack! 
Connor and Cogliano. Back for Kale McCarr, he scores! Let it fly from the near side point. Schwartz has it stolen away. Devon Taves, three on two the other way. Taves holding. Backdoor feed, score! Miko Rantanen gets his second goal of the playoffs. Rodriguez, Byram, high in his own McKinnon. He double clutches, McKinnon stepped aside, McKinnon still with it, he scores! Just majestic from McKinnon, that was picture perfect. Stretching, that puck is out of the zone, Lekin and reaching. Lekin and still with it, over for Ranton and he's got an empty net, you betcha! Miko Ranton and picks up his third point of the game, and the Avalanche have put a touchdown on the Seattle Kraken here in game three. And they will take a two games to one lead over the Seattle Kraken. It's almost like two nights ago they were just not watching the game, but tonight they want to win it. Sonato hammered into the corner by Girard. So the physicality started early, but Larson is open. Swings it off, score! For Sprong, Sprong looking, shooting off the post, and then he scores. And they go up 2-0. Again for the third time in this series with 9.51 to go in the first period. Rodriguez up the middle, over for McKinnon, and escapes over for Ranton. He cuts to the middle. He shoots and scores! And Colorado cuts it to 2-1 to one Seattle with 5.52 to go in the second period. Back for Gerard. Rantanen inside the near circle. Rantanen holding. He scores! And the power play connects! Second goal of the period. Larson shoots. Glove save made by Georgiev! Oh, goodness, it's gorgeous! At the three-minute mark of overtime, 104 to go in the power play. Sprong lets it go, blocked by Kale McCarr. Rebound is free, out in front. Rebound, they score. It took two power play goals for the Kraken to beat the Avalanche. And it's a tied series headed back to the Mile High City. Downtown Denver, Colorado. So far, it's been a split. A win and a loss for both teams in each other's barns. But tonight, Colorado's numbers dwindle even more. They'll be without Kale McCarr. And you'll sprawl from Amsterdam. Gives it off, shot save. Schwartz wins this draw to Dono and timer. Glove save, Georgiev, and that was no problem. Shot, Schwartz save by Georgiev, rebound, score! Now the Seattle Kraken have scored the first goal in five straight games. Get the puck to the net! Yeah. Over, it over. They score! McKinnon and Rantanen off the mistake from Philip Grubauer. I think it's going to go the way of the Mac attack, Jack. Cuts to the corner. McKinnon holds up. Morgan spins down and he took McKinnon with him. How in the world is that not a penalty? Everly spins around the near side circle. A one-timer and they score. And it's after a missed penalty at one end of the ice. And escapes New Hook. High in the zone, Susie lets it go, and he scores. And the Kraken have a two-goal lead with 18.20 to go in the third. Rodriguez has it high in the zone. No shooting lane available. Now Rodriguez lets it go. It's off the body and in! Pinball meets hockey. The Avalanche send it towards the net front, and Rodriguez gets the Avalanche within one with 3.37 to go in the third. Now for Nathan McKinnon, 13 seconds to go, McKinnon. Has it blocked. <laughs> Far side boards, five seconds to go in the third period. And game five goes to the Kraken. If the Avalanche are to win this series, they will have to do it in this building on Sunday night. Perfect redirect. Keller with 
wants it again. Kale McCarr up over the top. Rolling puck. 15 seconds left. And can he get there? He can. He tapped it into an open net. And the Avalanche have four. And prepare yourselves for game seven coming up on Sunday night. a lot of stuff that happened this year that you just can't plan for and you're missing key guys and throughout the course of the season and other guys were stepping up and getting the job done and keep giving it their all that's what they did all year long Just ricocheted into the net. That's just so unfortunate. The abs look so good. Right off the faceoff, getting pucks to the net. Safe made by Georgiev. And he's on Devon Taves. 30 seconds to go in the period. McKinnon, one-timer. He scores! And just let a bomb go. And that power play goal from Nathan McKinnon is his 100th career point in the postseason. One of the best point per game producers when it comes to playoff hockey in the history of the National Hockey League. The way they handled it and the way they played and how hard they played and how productive they were through the course of the season and through the playoffs, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Final score in Game 7, it's the Kraken 2 and the Avalanche 1. So you feel good about moving forward just because you have those guys right away and the leaders that they are and they, you know what they're going to give you. The effort and, you know, leadership and determination that they play with. So then that, you add that to their skill level and their ability and it's like you got to give yourself a chance. You feel good about moving forward. Yeah, I think it sings more when you're when you're this close, and you know the culture we've built and, and the friendships we've engraved in a, in this room. Um, you know, we were able to slot guys in here and, and get them up to speed, and you create this bond with each other throughout this whole year, and it's it's tough to for that to end.